over to you doctor thank so you. thank you thank you thank you tushar so at the outset i wish to thank the entire organizing team of dtecon for organizing such a first virtual conference of technology and diabetes and and i must congratulate them and uh, for inviting me and to discuss the technology and diabetes so basically we know that the technology is the fifth pillar one of the one of the main five pillars of atmanirbhar bharat so the bicho through its largest digital care ecosystem is helping patients to manage and control their diabetes if you see the if you see the 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 journey of a diabetic patient b symptomatic b is asymptomatic when a patient is being diagnosed with a diabetic the first phase is denial or sometimes like people go with the hair say and they take start treatment with the indigenous medicines or they they are their homemade medicines or like they 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 just delay the diagnosis they just delay to the go to the consultants so the denial and then they go for a, like google or whatsapp and maybe they starting the treatment from their own and many of the patient they just do like even they start the treatment they have a treatment interruptions maybe because of the awareness maybe because of the affordability so even when they have been prescribed or consulted by the, they have consulted a doctor they have started with the treatment maybe in a month or two months and when when they come to the normal like fasting pbg and even the a1c come down they stop the treatment and they say that now my diabetes is fine and i am over like i i am non diabetic now so there are many of times they have no scientific or like the proper knowledge or awareness second second challenge in patient with diabetes is non adherence patient has started with like two times of oral antidiabetics or even with insulin therapy they stop the treatment or they reduce the medication of their own many of time there may be financial constraint or the behavioral issues and the follow up is a major challenge because like the uh, we have seen the patient those who are coming for a follow up at 6 months 1 year with the a1c of same 8.4 8.3 so the entire journey from the diagnosis to taking this 2 3 years and finally the patients are having a a1c of 8.5 so that's why they are almost around 80% of the population is not yet controlled in india with the average a1c of 8.5 so the major challenges the fundamental challenges of diabetes management in india are the accessibility awareness and affordability when we talk of accessibility 94 or 5% of the people with diabetes are in tier 2 cities and beyond and these are the patients who has to travel to the cities or to the major towns to consult a diabetologist or an endocrinologist that will that will include a work day loss and the cost of the traveling almost only 7% of the endocrinologists and diabetologists are in india are in the tier 2 cities and beyond so only 8% indians manage to treat the diabetes with a specialist so just imagine the huge burden of a patient which is not getting access to a diabetologist or a specialist to a physician so like they are not being getting a proper treatment then comes the role of awareness we know that half of the patients of diabetes are still undiagnosed and half of the patient those who are diagnosed only half of them are taking treatment which we call it as a rule of 50 and 80% of the indians with diabetes in india have an average a1c of 8.5 and 70% indians are unaware that diabetes can impact the other organs or it can cause the damage to the vital organs and only 10% have even introduced the diabetes educator so they don't know like what is the lifestyle management and as far as the affordability is concerned yes we know that almost 70% of our population of india is in the rural rural population and affordability is a major challenge because like they have to pay from their pocket for the consultation for the investigation for the medicines so this is a huge burden on the family and in fact there is a data where it has been seen that the 25% of the monthly household income of a lower middle class is spent on the management of diabetes and its complications so bicho has created a holistic ecosystem to bridge this gap in diabetes management and how come like once a patient comes on the app patient downloads the app he get an access to the healthy lifestyle management like for the medical nutrition therapy he can have an access like what amount of calories what amount of carbs this particular food has so that he can have his choices about the food intake so this is for the medical nutrition therapy and even he can get connected with a coach and can get an advice so for the medical nutrition therapy he can choose have a healthy choices about the diet then this this app is being synchronized with the different say like health apps or like the health uh, fitness trackers so wherein he can he can monitor his physical activity so and he can have an idea about the uh, the burning of the calories how much calories is burning in a day so he can have an access to the first pillar that is the lifestyle management of type 2 diabetes then second challenge and then second challenge is the monitoring so by just an affordable connected kit he can do a monitoring at his home and this monitoring or like whatever this blood glucose values are there they can be in the app so he can see at any any point of time and he can see that to take medicine so like this app has an as an uh, access to the like blood glucose reminders and the medicine reminder so that it will improve the adherence and the compliance to the treatment which is being given prescribed by the doctors and then you have a caregiver alerts 
so like if the patient is having extremes hypo or hyper your your loved ones or your consultants or your doctors will give an will get an alert so that they can manage properly early then you have like you the patient uh, who's on the app can have an access to the entire data in the graphical form in the like day wise he can access like what is his fasting is going on and the pbs are going on and then on the base of that he'll get an advice on the base of that that your glucose is going low or is is going down or it is going high so what should be the ideal approach for the managing it at home with the help of a medical nutrition or the dietary intervention or the physical activity but if there is any any extreme hypo or hypo or even a patient wants to talk he can ask for a, a call from the coach so there is a proactive care where in a nutrition or the certified diabetes educator is educating a patient imparting a uh, awareness imparting the proper knowledge about the diabetes its complications its management and what should be the entire like like, like about the monitoring also when come it comes to the like uh, doctor involvement as dr amit was saying i'll i'll be discussing that on the next slide so even even a patient with the doctor connected app so the doctor can see the extreme hypos hypers or like like the the more the the presentation of all the monitoring in his dashboard at his end so that he can see that what is his his patient is doing like and of course at the at the last but not the least patient will have the access to the exclusive diabetes educators videos the the uh, articles so that he can have a proper awareness proper information and proper knowledge about his or her own diabetes because we know that diabetes education is an important pillar of managing type 2 diabetes in the long run so what we have done so far we have, we have more, almost more than 4 lakh members on our, our uh, this iot monitoring program and the retention for one year is almost more than 60% and average time spent on the app is 10 minutes just imagine so like patients are giving 10 minutes every daily on the app and this is impacted the clinical impact of this is that we have seen a reduction of 1.9% the average average uh, a1c in 3 months 10% average drop in fasting blood glucose in one month and the reduction in the hypoglycemic events by 52% so it's not only managing the hyperglycemia but it is also managing the or preventing the hypoglycemia so help <coughs> helping the patients to keep them in euglycemia to achieve the target a1c to prevent the complications and we are we are not just restricted to the macro cities we are not just restricted to the upper class data we have almost 70% of our members from the tier uh, non tier 1 class and 55% patients are from the first time users of glucometer and 83% users connected with diabetes they connected with the educator for the first time so that's imagine the 83% of this population has not even visited a educator or or a certified diabetes coach and this this reduction in a1c is sustainable if you see in patients almost 28000 plus patients the average a1c or the mean a1c at the time of onboarding was 8.2 and it was sustained to 7.3 at the at the two years in patients who having a1c of more than 8 the average a1c was of 9.6 and this was this came down to 7.6 at two years and it was sustained for that two years so like there is a sustainability of this intervention and as dr amit was saying that we have to uh, involve more and more doctors because like you know there are millions of patients and the, 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 this population is growing so we have a program uh, this uh, doctor connect program wherein the doctor who is treating like the we are connecting we are making a bridge we are making a connection between a consultant diabetologist and his patients so that whatever the patient is monitoring with that glucometer at their home a doctor or the consultant diabetologist can see on this dashboard how his patient is doing and this this doctor connect program has improved almost six times higher in the monitoring and the average daily again that patients are uh, spending 10 minutes on that and this has shown a 11% drop in the average fasting blood sugar at one month so even a doctor who is connected with his patient whatever the patient is monitoring patient is seeing on the dashboard and in this loop there is a educator either from the doctor or from our end so this educator is taking care of this entire in the <coughs> entire loop that it is it is giving uh, imparting a proper information and knowledge to the patient and with the help of a doctor so that the doctor and the coach and the patient are a closed loop system and where he, they are helping the patient to manage his day to day uh, like, like activities and the the fasting blood glucose and the post prandial blood glucose and this 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 whatever like we have done it has been published at length so if we see this this is the effect on the ada where we have seen the 8.9% reduction in the ppgs 9.3% reduction in the uh, preprandials the 9.5% reduction in the fasting blood glucose and 6% reduction in the uh, random blood sugars so this is just with the help of this 
real time feedback and counseling from our coaches it has impacted the glycemic control and this is the real world data it is not from a very clinical trial or a very very say prospective trial it is a real world data and same this is the again the real world data where we see in the 45% reduction in the postprandial 30 uh, almost around 40% reduction in the preprandial 51% reduction in the fasting and as well as the reduction in the hypos and this is in the real world so like in, in the almost 25000 patients so like these are the patients which are already using the app they are already on the on the connected device so they are having this impact so this is the data from when the patients are using in the in their day to day management of diabetes this is again where we have seen the 60% reduction in the hypoglycemic episode so we are we are managing hyperglycemia we are also preventing hypoglycemia so ultimately providing a holistic approach or we can say the euglycemic approach to the patient those who are members on our b2f this is this was a poster which was uh, in a population like accepted in the atd again there was a 60 percent reduction in the blood glucose levels average blood glucose levels 81 percent reduction in the fasting hypoglycemic uh, incidents 72 percent and again in the uh, pre-meal hypoglycemic incident and this is in the data and this was during the covid 19 time when the patients were at lockdown patient in the home they were getting a care from our coaches from our educators and they were managing their diabetes with the advice of our educators at their home only this is the uh, this is the abstract which has been accepted in this data one where we have seen that just by the educator by just by the one coach call there is in 12.45 percent increase in the frequency of monitoring so that the patient is now more aware patient is now doing more monitoring and by which that we have just a reduction in the hypoglycemia in almost more than 3000 patients so this is the real data of 3000 patients who are already using and they have a reduction almost 80 percent reduction in the hypoglycemia incident after one coach call Dr. And Nabli, so we have impacted yes I think we are. Mouse, and this is just not like the patient but if they, we get a feedback from the patient we know that ultimately our patient are benefited then only we can be happy so this is just the feedbacks from the patients and these are the some awards where we have won the national startup award last year and these are some collaborations and so to summarize what i can say that to demo to bring the democracy in diabetes through the technology and to make the india as diabetes care capital of the world we can take the help of philosophy of gandhi ji that is sarvode through antode which means the development of all through welfare of the weakest section of the society so that is the aim of the beto to achieve or to democratize the diabetes management to care to take care of the patient those who are having less accessible or less affordable even in the outreach or the far far areas of the country so to provide the overall treatment to the uh, overall population or the type 2 diabetic population of the country thank you very much